In the year 2000, when I was 19, I had a motorcycle accident in Thailand, which resulted in the amputation uh, of my right leg, and I could no longer join the army. So I had to think about, you know, what I wanted to do. And sport had always been a huge part of my life, and it then became a fantastic vehicle for rehabilitation for me. Uh, and I taught myself to run again, and I went on to become a Paralympic athlete competing at the Beijing Games in, in 2008, where um, I was lucky enough to, to win a bronze medal. And then I had to think, okay, well, what do I do after that? You know, I can't be an athlete for the rest of my life. What does the future hold for me? And so at the age of 28, uh, I went back to university uh, to study medicine, graduated in 2014 as a doctor and then trained um, as a trauma and orthopaedic surgeon, which is what I was working as up until 2023 when I was selected by the European Space Agency. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I had an awesome meeting with uh, the Lord Speaker. And it, uh, Lord McFaul was hugely interested uh, about science. He's got a background in chemistry, was a teacher previously. And we had a really, really great discussion about, you know, what are the benefits of, of space? Space for Earth. Uh, I'm really looking forward to having the opportunity to speak with the Lord's UK Engagement with Space Committee, to have some great discussions with them about the relationship between uh, the UK and Europe um, uh, and how together we can optimise and maximise um, uh, the UK's involvement in the space sector and benefit from the space industry, uh, not, both for, for the UK and for, for Europe as a whole.